Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush, and this time we're going to use the Public Fork Open Brush and look at their tool called Layers. Now, Layers is a great way for you to work with art, especially a complicated piece of art, if you want to keep elements separate from each other. Normally, when we're painting in Tilt Brush and Open Brush, all of our pieces are together in one big piece of art. So if I wanted to go in and change details that are really close together, it could be tough to separate those pieces. So layers lets you build up pieces of art and keep certain pieces separate from each other. So I could make the water and the rocks one layer and then make the seaweed and the fish on a separate layer so I can work with them as if they were separate pieces. So here's how it's going to work. In Open Brush on our toolbar, they've added a new little button called Layers, which will open a new window, conveniently, for layers. So with this guy, it's going to keep track of our main components, and everything is in this background main layer. The little eyeball actually lets you temporarily hide what's in that layer. So as you build up the pieces, you can keep track of which pieces are in which layer. So right now everything is in this main layer, and now I'm going to add a new layer. Clicking on the name will highlight the name so that you can control which layer you want to work on. I'm now working on layer one, and anything I do is going to be up to on that one layer. So even if I'm working very closely with some pieces that already exist, the computer will keep them separate. Open Brush knows that they are not actually overlapping. If I go in with, for example, the selection tool, I cannot select the fish or the rocks. I can only select these pieces that I just drew. Now I can move them or do whatever I want because they're on a separate layer. If I switch back, let's turn off the selection and switch back to the main layer. Now I can select the fish themselves and any other items I wanted from that layer. Turn off the selection. So now it's going to keep these components as completely separate pieces. I'm going to switch to a completely different drawing tool, completely different color, whole new layer. And now these pieces are even more separate from any of the other two. And I can use the eyeball to turn the various pieces on and off. layers. You can have as much as you want in each one, fully overlapping, and they will not blend. Now, if I want to clear out a layer, not delete the whole thing, just erase what's in it. The trash can will erase all of the art in that layer, but leave it alone so I can now create some more pieces on that same layer as separate pieces. That layer contains those ribbons. The next button called squash. If you've worked with art in computers, you may be familiar with the term merge, combining pieces together. It's going to combine this layer, mer uh, squash this layer together with the one directly above it. So if I use this squash button, it'll combine my ribbons with the light lines. If I use this squash button, it's going to combine the light lines with the main layer background. If I don't want to combine them together, don't bother using the squash. But that's how I can, once I've got pieces the way I like them, combine them down into one final layer. You really only want to do that when you're sure you're done with those separate pieces. If you do want to destroy the piece entirely, I, I don't like the ribbons at all, the X will actually destroy that layer completely. I will now need to make a whole new layer if I want to make a new piece. Does this make sense?
There is one other little tool that's useful with these layers that's used to separate pieces out. So for example, I'm going to make a whole new layer. So I've got layer two, which right now has nothing in it. I'm going to go back to the main layer. And I'm going to select some of those fish. Lovely fish. Copy selection to current layer, to current layer. So I'm going to switch to this empty one and copy those fish to the empty layer. So now I've got two sets of fish. Back on the original layer, I still have these fish. But now I can turn off the selection, go to this new layer, and select these fish. I'm not going to select those. I can't select the light or the reef. Just these fish, whoops, I missed them, but just those fish are the ones that have been copied to the current layer. If you select something and hit the button on the same layer, then it's just making a duplicate on the same layer. But by choosing a different layer first, we're now separating the new versions onto the new pieces. And we can deal with them as new pieces. Hide them, erase them, whatever you want. So this is using layers in OpenBrush. I like it with a fish without the light source, so let's just destroy, erase. The lights, okay, and off we go. Oh, I don't really like these fish. Let's hide those fish. Back to just the main layer. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. But this is layers in OpenBrush. I hope it's helpful for you. I hope it gives you some new tools to play with. But this is how you really keep things separate. This is how you have new pieces aside from original pieces. Have fun, everybody. We'll see you next time.